<laughs> By the way, I'm Krillius. It's nice to meet you, Silver. Good to meet you, Krillius. Yes, that's what I mean. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Hi everyone, I'm Krillius, producer and MC for Team Racing Productions. And today I'm joined with a legendary iconic racing pen, Davis, as well as our special guest, Silver Logan Sharp. Hello, dear. How are you? We love you, singer, songwriter, actress, sister, wife. Mother, prophetess, yes. former lead singer of Chic, and, uh, and the host of Feel Better Fridays <laughs> at 1 p.m. every Friday. That's right. Okay. See, I, my publicists don't even do all of that. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. We love it. I love that. We hey, y'all. love it. How are you? Listen, hanging on like everybody else. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, for, for me, it doesn't disrupt my daily routine so much because I work for my, myself. I work in my house. Um, you know, we shoot Feel Better Friday here in the loft. Our studio is upstairs. And my jewelry boutique is in my house in Northwest, my physical mm -hmm. boutique. And my online store is still online. Mm -hmm. So... Those things for me haven't changed. What's changed is that you can't go anywhere, you can't talk to anybody, and of course, I'm a performer, and we're not getting on those stages no time soon. Mm -hmm. You know, and that, the reality of that is a bit hard to deal with. Um, everything we do as performers, and not just myself, but classical singers, Broadway, um, you know, from the big stage to the big tours, to the little pub around the corner with oh. the guy in the corner playing the guitar. You know what I mean? None of us can perform, which is a lifeline to performers. You know, yes. so that, um, you know, my, I would have had a show on April 5th this past uh, Palm Sunday. And instead of that, because I film all of my shows, um, I had a show kind of, you know, in the can. I have two mm -hmm. shows, actually three, but two in that venue. And so we decided to, well, since the show was going to be that day anyway, let's just air it, um, our re live recorded show. And we're going to show the second half on Mother's Day. So I did that instead, but it's like, okay, now that gig is over. It would have been over. You would have been on to the next gig. The next yes. Gig on the summer runs, working on what crews I might do or the festivals you're trying mm -hmm. to get on. And now, um, it's it's just not going to happen this year. I really don't think that, you know, I, it's like I tell Daryl, I'm already at November and December. <laughs> yes. We are right there with you. We are right there we with, right you, there with you. Everything for us has literally shut down yep. the entire Everything. summer. I have cried my last tear, like the song <laughs> say, yesterday. <laughs> So I, I'm with you. I'm with you. Yes, that's I, we, We're already on fall stuff. Yep. Stuff for the fall. That's where we are now because there's no summer. There's no summer really anymore. But speaking of which, since, um, you know, how this affects you as an artist personally, how is there a new creative outlet? Has this inspired anything? Or are you using your art, you know, during this time right now, you know, personally and for your own, you know, fulfillment? Yeah. Well, Thank God for Feel Better Friday. Yes. Um, I have had this show now for about four years. Mm -hmm. Okay. We started, I started out um, in my, and I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth. I was having some thin weeks and months. You know, when you, when you are the artist and, and the producer of your own work and everything, you put out a lot of money mm -hmm. and you got to wait for a lot of it to come back. Amen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so... <laughs> So I was feeling like, okay, what's going on? What's going on? It's feeling thin and not, you know, not dang, I'll lose my house or nothing, but just, you know, just that, that regular comfort we have. And when you haven't worked for a couple of months, it's like, okay. And then I was like, wait a minute, you have a room full of product. 
you have thousands of dollars, you know, of product here right now and ready. So I started to go in my boutique, you know, beat the face, put on a fist piece. Wait a minute, I got on a little something. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Can you see? Yes, yes. Anyway, is there my little air race? Anyway, but so I would go, I would put on something from the collection. I'd sing a few songs, go live in the showroom. And that's how it started. You know, that's that's kind of how I started to do that. And then we got this beautiful piano. I don't know if you can see in the background. Yes. Yes, honey, we're living. <laughs> that um, that Daryl had gutted and refurbished and he was playing one day. And I said, you know, we should go live, just me and you. Mm. Just me and you tomorrow. So there I am holding the phone, you know, and then a couple weeks later I was holding both phones. And folks are like, are you working the cameras too? I'm like, just shut up and watch, okay? Yes. <laughs> Don't, don't come for me, I'm trying. Yes. And then I went from phones to iPads and from iPads and I was like, okay, wait a minute, you, you might be onto something. And we started to invite um, musicians over to come hang, you know? And so it, it, I, I was also fervently praying for what the next thing is. Everybody, you should be on television. You should be hosting. You should be this. You should be that. I was doing something with the Divas. There was a Divas of DC thing happening for a minute. Um, it didn't come to fruition. Mm -hmm. I think it didn't come to fruition because we all wanted to, it was supposed to be like a docudrama. It was not supposed to be like some of the other shows that I will remain nameless mm -hmm. who, you know, promote, you know, crazy. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, I know what you mean. I know what, what you mean. What you wanted to do was walk in love and light. <laughs> there we go. Because but that was not what was selling. That they weren't. They weren't taking that. And I'm thinking, but you know what? If you are really, if you this, you know, they will gravitate to what you put the attention to. They really will. If you put the attention to to the drama. Then that's what they'll gravitate to. If you give somebody something positive, I ain't saying we don't have drama now. Mm -hmm. It's just not with each other. We're business women. We're women of color who are in business. We're, we're, you know, booking our gigs. And, you know, it was uh, Mesa and Sweet Cherie, um, you know, those kind of, you know, Deborah Bond, all these uh, fabulous singers, and we all have a different story. So it was a great concept until it's it became- like, It's like, if you're getting into that business, yeah. and then you and your friend who are in it, y'all better talk before and be like, okay, girl, you know, they're gonna- They're gonna come from You know, exactly. So it's, it's always that thing you kind of have to balance. Yeah. I believe that, you know, because we honestly wanted to do something and they may be still, you know, pressing forward and we did a few things, but it didn't really get off the ground. Mm. That made me think, what do people want to watch you do? Yes. Yeah. Why would they tune in to Silver? Why would they, why do they care to watch you? Because you're not coming with all this drama and mm. you're not coming with all this crazy. And believe me, everybody has drama on some level yeah so you're not going to chase me around my house with cameras fussing at my husband and, <laughs> and i think you did a, a, what you did was excellent at what thank you did you. Was, you. It, what is and what you're doing is amazing and for folks who would want to stay connected to you how do they reach out to you how can folks stay connected to you? they can i would love for people to first subscribe to my youtube channels yes logan sharp and feel better friday i need i have so much content it's insane but i have not been doing my due diligence on the YouTube side of things. So, um, and that is very important for my content to reach. I have some major cats coming through here. I've had Najee, I've had Gene Karn, I've had CeCe Peniston, Frank McComb, mm. Eric Roberson, Rashawn Patterson. I mean, I, yeah, that's who have all been right here doing Feel Better Friday. And, and I'll po we'll post the videos. I don't go necessarily and go, go to YouTube, go to YouTube, go to YouTube. And so then I have like four views. It's like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Naji was here. How do I just have four? You know, so I am working on trying to be better at my um, my YouTube social media. So Silver Logan Sharp on YouTube mm -hmm. and Feel Better Friday. Feel better, not feel good. Feel Better Friday, um, the TV show. It's also on DC TV at six o'clock on Friday nights. Um, you can also reach me at Silver Logan Sharp on YouTube and Instagram. And Feel Better Friday, I'm sorry, on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Silver Logan Sharp and Feel Better Friday. And if I must, Silverware Jewelry has got her pages too. Child. Yes, you better plug it, Hall. Honey. Plug it, plug it. 
And I'm just saying thank you so much for, for being with us today. Absolutely. And thank everybody for watching. Of course. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Miss Tracy. I love you. <laughs> love you guys. Anytime. Thanks. Anytime. Anytime. Yeah. Anytime. And thank you for doing this. Stay on air, y'all. We will. We will. Keep we will. Staying. Really thank awesome. for watching. Oh, we love you. I love y'all. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Oh.